A healthy and well today to you, Sir Rogon. I do hope that you are ready as we work through these word problems. What the group 5 will present to you is not basta-basta lang, kung kaya't maghanda, sapagkat tayo ay magsisimula na. For the first problem, which is circle, a volcano is located at 1510 on a coordinate plane. The lettered points on line coordinate plane represents the cities around it. The government reminds those cities around 14 kilometers radius of the volcano to take precautionary measures in case of emergency. Find the equation of the circle that represents the range of the volcano and sketch the circle. Which among the cities are outside the 14 kilometers radius of the volcano? So the givens are the volcano is located at 1510. That will be our center and its radius is 14 kilometers. However, the cities outside the 14 kilometers radius of the volcano is being asked. The creation of a circle in standard form is given by x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. If we substitute the values and simplify it, we will have x minus 15 squared plus y minus 10 squared is equal to 196 as the equation of the circle representing the range of the volcano. So let's start to find the answer. There, because there's two cities given, let's assume that the coordinates of the cities are as follows. City A is 21.15, City B is 16, negative 6, 10, City C is 15, negative 4. To determine which cities are outside the range of the volcano, we need to compare their distance from the center of the circle. 15.10 for City A to the radius of 14 kilometers. If a series distance from the center is greater than 14 km, it is outside the range of the volcano. If it less than or equal to 14 km, it is within the range and should take you take frequentionary measures. We can calculate the distance between each city and the center using the distance formula. The distance formula is D is equal to square root of x, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And now that we know the formula for distance, we have to identify what is our x1 and x2, y1 and y2. The coordinate of the volcano, which is 1510, will be our x1 and y1. And the coordinates of the series will become the x2 and y2. To determine the distance of city from the volcano, First, let's find the value of x1 and y1, x2 and y2. So, we get x1 is 15, y1 10, x2 is 21, and x2 is 15. So, using the formula, let's substitute them. Therefore, distance is equal to the square root of 21 minus 15 squared plus 15 minus 10 squared. So, 21 minus 15 is 6, and 15 minus 10 is equal to 5. So, we get 6 squared is 36, and 5 squared is 25. So, 36 plus 25 is equal to 61. Then, the square root of 61 is 7.81. Hence, the distance of the city from the volcano is 7.81 km. 7.81 km is less than 2, 14 km. So, therefore... City A is within the range of the volcano. Now, let's assume that the coordinates of City B is 20 and 8. To calculate the distance between the city and the center, we will be using the formula. So, T is equal to square root of 20 minus 15 squared plus 8 minus 10 squared. D is equal to 5 squared plus negative 2 squared. D is equal to square root of 25 plus 4. And D is 
equal to 29. After that, we will go into square root of 29. So, this equal to square root of 29 is equal to 5.39 kilometers. Since the distance between the city and the center is less than 14 kilometers, then our city B is the outside the range of the volcano. Lastly is the city C and to determine the distance of city C from the volcano. Let's find the value of x1 and y1, x2 and y2. Then, let's substitute them. Therefore, the distance is equal to square root of 15 minus negative 4 squared plus 15 minus 10 squared. 15 minus 4 is 11. 15 minus 10 is 5. Therefore, 11 squared is 121. 5 squared is 25. So, 121 plus 25 is equal to 146. The square root of 146 is 12.8 hands. The distance of CTC from the volcano is 12.8 kilometers. 12.8 kilometers is less than 14 kilometers. Therefore, CTC is within the range of the volcano. To be sure, we use decimals to check if our answers are correct. The red dot is the volcano. The circle is the is it range. We can see that the city A and C are within the range and city B is outside the range, just like in our answer. Therefore, city B is outside the range of the volcano, while cities A and C are within the range and should take precautionary measures. A paraboloid light detector is 12 inches wide and 6 inches deep. Where should the light source to be placed to produce a concentrated beam of light? In this case, the paraboloid is 12 inches wide, so the width of the parabola is 12 inches. The vertex of the parabola is, the, is at the origin 0, 0 since it, it is ser, se, symmetrical. So, ang ibig sabihin na dito, ang ibig sabihin dito is Meron daw 12 inches na yung width ng parabola kasi 12 inches wide daw. Tapos, meron daw 6 inches na lalim, deep. So, ang equation here is, is yung parabola ng standard point is equal to, ay hindi, y squared is equal to 4ax. So, let's assume na ang coordinates ay 6, 6. Kasi nga, may lalim na, ano, may lalim na, may lalim daw na 6. May lalim daw na 6 na, ano, 6 inches. Tapos, yun. Kaya yun yung coordinates. Yun yung coordinates. So, yung x tapos y, substitute lang natin siya dun sa formula, sa equation. So, y squared is equal to 4ax. Tapos, substitute natin yung coordinate na 6, tapos 6. So, yung y, mahalagyan ng 6 tapos yung x mahalagyan ng 6 so simplify na natin siya 6 squared is equal to 36 36 equals 6 times 4 is equal to 24 24 a na siya so 36 ano kailangan matira na lang yung a kasi mahanap na natin yung value ng a so kailangan matanggal yung kasama ng a ano ba yung kasama ng a is 24 diba so Ka, ano divide natin siya both side by 24 so 36 is equal to 24a divided by 24 so matanggal yung 24 so magiging 36 divided by 24 is equal to 1.5 so ang a natin na dito ay is equal to 1.5 therefore the focus of the paraboloid reflector is located at a distance of 1.5 inches from the vertex so yung, kailang, yung distance na kailangan para malagay yung light source is 1.5 ano 1.5 inches so the light source should be placed at a distance of 1.5 inches from the vertex to produce a light concentrated beam of light I'm Yanmar and I'm here to solve our new problem. So we have problem number 3. An elliptical oval is 60 meter long. Two poles located at the foci are 40 meter apart. How wide is the oval? These are the given based on our problem. 60 meter long and 40 meter for our foci. 
To find the b, we can use this formula. c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So our equation is 20 squared is equal to 30 squared plus b squared. We need to transpose the b squared. So our equation is b squared is equal to 30 squared minus 20 squared. And then b squared is equal to 900 minus 400. Is b squared is equal to 500. After that, we are going to square root the 500 to cancel out the square root on b squared. So b squared is equal to square root of 500 is b is equal to 22.36. And these are the coordinates. The center is at the origin or 0, 0. The vertices are located at the negative 30, 0 and 30, 0. The foci are located at the negative 20, 0 and 20, 0. Our LR is 16.7 and this our LR co coordinates. Negative 20, 16.7 and negative 20, negative 16.7 and 20, 16.7 and 20, negative 16.7. So, the equation of our ellipse will be x squared over 30 squared plus y squared over 22.36 squared is equals to 1. Or x squared over 900 plus y squared over 500 is equals to 1. Going back to problem number 3, we are asked to find how wide is the oval. So, for us to be able to find how wide is the oval, we need to multiply the value of b by 2, which is 22.36 times 2. Therefore, the width of the oval is 44.62 meters. Okay, so for the last problem, which is hyperbola, the sides of a cooling tower represent a hyperbola. The width of the slimmest part of the cooling tower is 50 meters. The length from this point to the top is 64 meters. The diameter of the top of the cooling tower is 60 meters. Find the equation of the hyperbola that represents the side of the cooling tower. Set the middle of the slimmest part as the origin. So ang given natin, the width of the slimmest part of the cooling tower is 50 meters. The slimmest part is right here which we will have the vertices of the hyperbola and the distance between the two vertices or what we call the transverse axis is 50 meters. If we divide that sa 2 or yung half netong 50 meters ay 25, that will be the value of A. Next, the length from this point to the top is 64 meters. The diameter of the top of the cooling tower is 60 meters. Last, set the middle of the slimmest part as the origin. The middle of the vertices, which is the center, is in 0, 0 or the origin nga. So, alam na natin kung ano yung numerator ng ating equation, which is uh, positive x squared and negative y squared. Positive x squared because uh, yung hyperbola natin is horizontal. Since si A lang ang binigay na given at walang B, kailangan natin hanapin yung value ni B para makuha natin yung equation ng hyperbola. Okay, so this is the standard form of the hyperbola. Nilagay lang natin yung value ni A, which is 25, and then walang value si B. In order to find the value of B, we have to identify the coordinate of these points. Ito. Dahil 60 meters siya, yung diameter ng top, uh, i-divide lang natin siya sa 2, so magiging 30, and then negative 30, etong x value. And then, dahil 64 yung measurement nito, yung y value naman ay magiging 64. Therefore, the coordinates of this one is 30 and 64. Dito naman ay negative 30, 64. Kinuha ko to, etong coordinate na to, at sinubstitute ko siya sa x squared and y, x squared siya sa y squared. So, 30 squared is 900, 25 squared is 625, 64 squared is 4096. So, uh, transpose ko lang itong negative 4096 over B squared dito sa kabila. So, magiging positive na siya. And then, itong positive 1, transpose ko dito, magiging negative 1. So, 900 over 625, 
minus 1 is equal to 11 over 25. Paano ba nakuha yun? So, ang gagawin natin, 900 over 625 minus 625 over 625. 625 over 625 is equal to 1 lang. So, that will be 275 is over 625. Dahil napakalaki pa neto, pwede pa natin siyang i-lowest term. Pwede siya sa 25. So, 275 divided by 25 is 11. And 625 divided by 11 is... 625 divided by 25 is 25. Ito. 11 over 25. So, cross multiplication. 11 times b squared is 11 b squared. 25 times 4096 is 102,400. Para makancel yung 11, we will divide 11 both sides. So, b squared and 102,400 divided by 11 is 9,309.09. So, ito na yung ating equation. And then, para makasigurado kung tama ba yung ating equation, ay dinesmos ko siya. And then, makikita dito yung coordinates nung vertices, and then yung coordinates din nung nasa top corner. And then, makikita natin na nasa linya siya. Ayan. Therefore, tama siya. The equation of the hyperbola that represents the side of the cooling tower is x squared over 625 minus y squared over 9309.09 is equal to 1. Again, I am Ashley KT Mabanto. Thank you for listening and dito na po nagtatapos ang aking presentation. Have a nice day everyone.